Alright, Halos, welcome back. How's everyone doing today? Uh, we're going to be doing some more intro bots real fast, just because I have a little bit of time to record today, not very long. Um, maybe we could do like an ARAM or something after if uh, if it's super fast. Um, otherwise, we could do like maybe two, two bot games or something in a row. We'll have to see. Uh, not sure exactly how much time I have so far. It's not a lot. Oh, I never noticed that uh, you can see like the different types of dragon. Um, like dragon souls I guess that are up there very faintly in this anyways uh, yeah today we're gonna be doing some more Zen Zhao um, I actually want to try I think I might have already tried on this the uh, on this channel but I'm not sure um, I want to do Navori quick blades plus uh, spear of Shojin basically we're just gonna do like tons of ability haste so that's gonna be pretty fun uh, those two already are super good synergy to, and then we could add some like attack speed in there um, to help with this uh, reducing our non ultimate ability cooldown. So yeah, let's do it. This is also something that I kind of want to try in an actual game that I don't think I've had the chance to yet. I feel like it would actually be pretty good to be honest, but hard to say for sure. Uh, either way though, yeah, should be good. Um, we could probably go like Ravenous or uh, Titanic. Not sure which one would be would be better. We could try profane if we really, really wanted to. Only be cool if there was a Tiamat item that gave attack speed. To be honest, but it doesn't, and that's fine. I mean, it's still a good item for sure. All right, we'll kind of just slow push this. I'm not gonna really waste a bunch of mana. Try to save the mana for when we actually fight the enemy champions. But we shall see. Like right there, I was about to miss that minion because I got minion blocked a little bit, so. I'll go ahead and use one. We did take Demolish this time around, so that's good. Love to see that. Um, another one of the missions we have, besides first one of the day, is uh, kill 15 champions, so that's going to be another one on our list today. We should be able to get that really easily in this game as well, so two birds, one stone type of deal right there. Melee minion on my team was pretty close to trying to steal it, I'll be honest. No! Oh man, I did miss a CS there. Unlucky. Oh, nice. Dodged out of his stuff, actually. Let's go. Oh, got minion blocked a little bit there. Not gonna lie. If we can bait him over a little bit farther. We have all our abilities up though, so we don't really need to. If we don't want to. He's playing kind of safe right now though, which is a little strange, I think. Man, I missed another CS. It's at least two now. Kind of sad, but is what it is. You can always practice your uh, last hitting and, and CS and stuff like that. A little bit of wave management, but not a whole lot. Alright, so we have that. He's probably gonna knock me up now. I guess not, that's weird. Usually he, that's like his first ability he presses. But he didn't that time around, so that's interesting. That's fine though. Don't want to lose that cannon, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my ability there just to make sure it's secured. Our demolish proc should be up. And I missed another CS there. Oh well. Oh man, and another one. Yeah, it should be up, so let's go ahead and take advantage of that and then try to get this plate, which should get us pretty close to being able to get our first item. Uh, I also do want to kind of try Sundered Sky. That's one I haven't tried yet. Um, I'd be down to even go that like first item this time if we wanted. We 
go. Oh man, missed another. Oh no, I missed two there. That's rough. Unlucky, unlucky. Eight seconds for the next demolish proc. I don't think I'm gonna get it in time. But we might be able to get this turret plate if we use a little bit of our health here. There we go. Unfortunately, the enemies are gonna be back very shortly, but it's all right. As long as they don't kill my cannon. Looks like they're gonna be doing that, but we'll see. Oh, nice. See, yeah, actually, we might have a chance. Uh, but yeah, let's try Sundered Sky because I have not tried that one yet. And then we'll go into Navori from there. Go ahead and get this because I can. Yeah, so this item heals you. Kind of like Divine Sunder, but very strangely. It kind of, in my opinion, kind of looks like it gives, um, what Aatrox's, uh, passive is. Which is kind of interesting. I feel like it'd be really good, but um, honestly, I don't know. A lot of people are doing like uh, Trinity Forces first item on Zen lately, which I don't know if that's really smart, but it can be useful, but it's also very expensive, so I don't really know if that's really the best choice, but some people do it. Hard to say for sure yet. I haven't really done a whole lot of testing so far, but we're getting there. It also gives you some... Uh, health, which is nice. Yeah, so if we auto him, we're just going to heal a bunch. If we auto him, we're going to heal a bunch. <laughs> That's kind of crazy, no? I feel like it's almost like Gore Drinker. The only difference is you have to actually auto attack them. Um, instead of having that like little active. Seems better to me, though. I don't know. What do you guys think? Leave in the comments below. <laughs> Miss that one. There we go. Get our demolish proc off as well. Then try to get as much damage onto this tower as we can. get the tower. Alright, nice. Missed a CS there, but it's alright. Auto there. Didn't mean to hit there. It's fine. Oh, I missed out again. Whoops. Nice, we got him. <laughs> missed that Ezreal multiple times there, but it's alright. Get our attack speed buff from eating the minion. We do have plenty to buy our next item, so we can go ahead and work on that soon. We already have the 15 kills that we need this match, so that's good. Yeah, Sunder Sky seems good. I don't know. Obviously, it's a bot match, so it's hard to say exactly, but to me, it seems like it's good. We'll have to see, though. Yeah, crits for 150% damage and heals for a ton of health, plus percent missing health, and then it also gives you bonus shield, it looks like, if you overheal too much. I don't know. I don't know. It just seems really good. And then it says it has a six second uh, unique per, per champ per target cooldown. 
Right? That's what it says, right? Excess healing is granted as temporary bonus health for 6 seconds, yeah. It also says how much it heals too, which is kind of nice. I like it when items help me out like that. I feel like it would also be very good on um, on Ringar because he loves crit striking. But I don't know, could be wrong. I don't know, it just seems really good. Might even start building this on uh, some ADCs, at least in terms of bot games. Seems like it would be a pretty decent idea. So at least get a turret up, uh, or um, not a turret, but a, uh, a proc of our demolish on that. And then we can go ahead back and, and finish out the game once we get some I some more items real fast. They saw where I am, so they're probably going to find me. I didn't really break vision well. Yeah. But that's okay. So tanky. Alright, there we go. Oh, Ezreal's gonna stop my back, isn't he? Oh, maybe not. Hey, nice. Let's go. Alright. Spear Shojin plus Nevor Quick Blades. And then other than that, we don't really need a whole lot. Um I kinda do want to go hard steel though also. <laughs> not gonna lie, that kinda sounds awesome. And then we don't really have gold for anything else, really. Alright, let's do it. Yeah, this seems fun, and then we could go Titanic if we wanted to. <laughs> Doesn't that seem crazy? Oh wait, is it um No, it's thirty seconds per target. Oh maybe because they we just killed them so fast, that's probably why it's not back up yet. Yeah. That's right, I didn't think about that. <laughs> that's so crazy man. Yeah, the combos are kinda nuts. But yeah, that's a, it's a little sneaky build you got there. Um, obviously, I think Titanic would be, fit very well into the kit as well, if you have all those items specifically. And then I think the only thing you would uh, other need, like, we'd, the only thing you would need other than that would be maybe, like, an attack speed item. So, like, Phantom Dancer, Witsend, if you need, like, Magic Resist for some reason. But I think Phantom Dancer or, um, uh, what's the other one? Ginsu's Rage Blade would probably be very good. But yeah. All right, nice. So we got inspiration path. Not what, not sure what that means. I think we already have the runes unlocked. But anyways, uh, basic champion capsule as well, and we leveled up. So let's go. Uh, that gets us to level 17. So we got a hextech mystery emote and a couple of those. I think that might have been from that. Yeah, the mystery emote was from the mission. So now you need 55 vision score, which actually is going to be a little tough. Take at least two normal games. Um, I think, depending on how well I do, maybe more. Um, 
or it'll take one if I play support and it's a long game, but <laughs> I don't count on it. Either way, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I think I'll go ahead and end here. It'll be a little bit more of a short video, but uh, that's fine. All right, anyways, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll catch you guys in the next part. Peace.